Good morning. It's the 11th of May, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. We can now see that there are two distinct phases in the pandemic. There's the acute phase where the infections are growing geometrically. When you are in the acute phase of the pandemic, the only thing that you can try to do is to exit the acute phase of the pandemic. We see people, we see nations, we see states trying to actually act as though they don't have an acute pandemic, trying to act as though they're advancing forward into the next stage of the pandemic. And every time they do, they get hung up by the fact that the only thing that's possible to do when you're in the acute phase of the pandemic is to exit the acute phase of the pandemic, doing whatever it takes. Generally, that means a lockdown. Once you've actually exited the acute phase of the pandemic, when the number of cases are actually dropping dramatically, then you're entering what we now know as the chronic phase of the pandemic. This is what people call the new normal. It's social distancing everywhere. It's a gradual return to some of the practices that we had before the pandemic. But with the full awareness that things actually won't be the same now or in for some time into the future, the chronic phase lasts until we have either really effective treatments or an effective vaccine that is distributed everywhere on the planet. And it's the boundary between the chronic and the acute phases that we see a lot of countries struggling with because no one really understands the right way to enter the chronic phase of the pandemic without starting a second wave of a pandemic. And that's 100 seconds.